Good morning, my neighbors. Don't yell at me, Clarence. I thought it was the trash. If you're really a prince, I'll marry ya. <laughs> Bark like a dog. A big dog. Okay, enough coming to America. Quotes. Let's get serious here. Hey, good people. It is Tishire from Politics and Fashion here today with a travel with me slash shop with me vlog. Y'all are about to get your life. Trust and believe. I'm headed to a just a winter, summer, spring, fall, all seasons wonderland uh, known as the Woodbury Commons Luxury Outlets. Now, I know for me before I took my first trip to Woodbury last year, I was searching this type of content because I wanted to know like what's all, what's what, what, what girls talk about, what's all the fuss, what's going on up there. And so I decided to give you all a behind the scenes tour. We are going to talk about what's at Woodbury, what is on my wish list because I don't go up in there without a list. Y'all know me, very type A here, present and accounted for, okay? I want to take you to my favorite boutiques, but also talk to you about how you can afford luxury because we're not paying full price for it out here. We're not gonna do that. Uh-uh, we don't have to, we're not doing it. I am tagging along on a friend's road trip to Greenwich, Connecticut. Spent some time walking Greenwich Ave. I don't know if that's what it's called, but the main street yesterday had a great meal. Greenwich is definitely cute. Uh, and not too far away from it is the outlets. And I actually didn't know that. So this is a completely impromptu trip, y'all. I am at a cute little hotel called Lloyd in Stamford, Connecticut, about 10 minutes away from Greenwich. And before we head to the outlets, I'm gonna go downstairs, get some breakfast, and then come back upstairs, get some makeup on this face, nothing too heavy, not a heavy beat, and we're gonna chit chat some more. Let's go. From breakfast i did some editing i am working on getting a youtube video up the lighting here in the hall of the hotel is not the best so uh be patient with me but here's today's ootd i am wearing the dior necklace or choker gypsy by nature necklace y'all know about that oversized gold hoops i got from a local boutique h&m long blazer the dress is by Aritzia. Y'all know I love Aritzia for a good basic. I am wearing my Western boots by Tacovas, I think. So these are authentic Western boots that I got from the Tacovas Boutique in Northern Virginia. Bag is YSL Eastside bag. I'm going to put on my Fendi Sunnies. And this is the look for a day of shopping. Let's go. a bit about what is on my list now that we are at Woodbury Commons. The first thing is I have a swim week on my mind. Swim week is on my mind. Swim week is in July in Miami. So anything that is bright, airy, summery, it's the kind of ready to wear I'm looking for. But I'm at Bottega right now and what I really want are shoes. Let's go. Bottega trying on shoes and look at the condition I'm in right now. <laughs> Stop zooming in. <laughs> I know the ash sends y'all. I know the ash sends y'all. I know it does. So I'm just gonna get that big toe together, okay, and the rest of my foot so that we can get on with our day. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm gonna try the smaller size on. But as of now, I just want y'all to get into this work of art. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hey baby. I want this night to last forever. I wanna go. Don't know how to dance, uh, and I got two left feet, but just take my hand. Follow my lead, we might skip a few steps, but we're still on beat. Ooh, you know I got the rhythm. I know you like my rhythm. Dance to the beat out, and dance to my rhythm. One in a million, a billion, a kuna mwingine, and I need jazzy a moyo. When you pili pili, le kali na ila, umani washa na niaro. to a tribe member. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the funny part. We're talking about all of the different stores we went to and how we saw the same things that we loved and we both got a bust down wrist. Absolutely. Here he <laughs> <laughs> hey good people, we are back with our Justice Tumblr. Got a little H2O in there and we got a fresh part. So we are ready for the next part of this video. Uh, it's a few days later and I want to share with you all what I got from Woodbury Commons. I've decided to increase my water intake. I'm always talking to y'all about this while simultaneously decreasing my alcohol intake. Pray for me because this sounds like misery. Okay, y'all know I love a good cocktail. I love a good beverage. But at this big age, and as I continue to ensure that I am cancer free, something has to give. And I feel like I got a Mati Data, you and I must never part, the alcohol. And if you know me, you know that this is a terrible realization. And I've got to dial in with my better help therapist ASAP to uh, mitigate the looming depression. It's not the point of this video. I just ask that you pray for me and you keep me encouraged. All right, let's get to it. So uh, y'all would have saw me down at Woodbury and I shared with you all, I think that there are um, about three luxury outlets in the country, at least three well-known ones, right? So um, there is Woodbury Common, there is, actually there's four, because there's Woodbury Commons, there is the Cabazon or Desert Hills outlet in California, 
In Florida, you have Sawgrass Mills, and you also have the Orlando Premium Outlets, which I like better than Sawgrass Mills, which is, I believe, in like Fort Lauderdale, South Florida area. Um, with that said, I've been to all of them because we not new to it around here, okay? And I would have to say that Woodbury Commons is my number one. Desert Hills, because it's California, is much more spread out. I feel like there are a lot more mid-range or affordable uh, brands at Desert Hills, but I think the bang for your buck is going to definitely, definitely be um, Woodbury Commons. And I think Sawgrass Mills, unless you're already in the South Florida area, as in that's where you live, it's probably not worth it. A trip like if you're in Miami I don't know that I would take the extra drive on vacation to Sawgrass Mills I just don't think it's worth it but what you could do is fly in and out of Orlando and hit the lick at the Orlando premium outlets and then make your way to South Florida I don't know why I'm giving you travel agent advice let's get to it all right girl so I'm down at Woodbury Commons and I already kind of knew what was there because um, I had been talking to my sales associate from Bottega and Loewe and I called Saint Laurent and I got a sales associate's information and we were texting back and forth, did the same thing with Celine. So this is a major tip. Um, outlets do not have websites. Again, outlets do not have websites. And so what you essentially have to do if you want to shop is to have a personal sales associate. Um, and it's not hard. All you have to do is call and say, hey, I'm looking for a black bag. I'm looking for a pair of boots. I'm looking for this item that I think I saw uh, two seasons ago at the boutique. Do you have it there? That's all you have to do. When I worked at Saint Laurent, um, oftentimes people were looking for something in particular we would actually tell them we don't have it anymore in the boutique but what you might want to do is call the uh, outlet because they may have it there and so that's just a quick tip because we don't have to pay full price for luxury and that's so important y'all with all of that in mind, I was really shopping, as I mentioned, for Miami Swim Week, and so I was looking for dresses, for bright colors, etc. and I think I did a good job, y'all. I was shocked. This was my most productive, um, fruitful, <laughs> amazing, well-priced uh, trip to any outlet, but definitely a luxury outlet I've ever been to. And so while I can't link anything that I'm about to share with you, um, if I have a personal sales associate, either at um, any of the luxury outlets, because I have, I got a plug a little bit of everywhere, um, I'll make sure that it's linked, or that person's information with their permission is linked down below, because they are there to provide excellent customer service and get your item shipped to you. Let's start with Aritzia because I mentioned to you that I got two dresses from there. Uh, the first one you would have seen is kind of similar to this color. This is just an H&M house dress that I wear. But I also got the same dress because she's pressed in black. I went up to a large in this because I wanted it to be a little bit longer, especially because I was doing so much walking. But let me show you, this is the Babaton collection. Girl, that is some serious stretch. It's almost like sculpted the way that it just snatches you in. I love it and the ribbing is vertical, which makes you look longer. Um, this was $110 and again, I got two. I cannot wait to put this on all summer long. It's actually also so comfortable and the perfect dress, probably with a light cardigan or a blazer or a moto jacket to travel in. Next up, let's go to Loewe. Loewe had these amazing like limited edition bags. I'm not sure why there is a bowl on it in a shadowed room. This is when the artistic uh, background of some of these luxury brands, I don't understand because I don't think Loewe sells bowls. So I don't think you can get a bowl there. But what you can get are these. Now I do not remember these being in stores, but my JW Anderson fans, y'all probably do remember these. And I am obsessed. So you all know that I'm not a big silver fan, but for these shoes, it don't matter, girl. I'm anything they want me to be. They have a seat belt buckle here. Now the buckle doesn't actually open. It's just, you know, for decoration. 
But I love this thin strap that is right at the top of the foot and the fact that they are mules. I have not worn them in real life. I only wore them um, to shoot the podcast. They were a little tight, but I think that's because I'm pretty sure I fractured my toe in a twerking accident. Don't ask. I... I don't even want to talk about it. Big age problems. And so, uh, girl, I went down to get in that first twerk position and I hit my toe. And ever since then, it's the third toe on my left foot. I haven't been at my hundred, you know, at, at my best at a hundred percent. Um, so I have to wait till I'm fully healed to really be able to jump out here and wear these like I want to. But I have been looking for a kind of barely there black sandal. Anytime I can have that type of wardrobe essential with a twist, like this uh, Loewe buckle, I am going to go for it. Now I wanna share with you all prices. Most things at the outlet are going to be at least 50% off, sometimes more. Um, these were $1,200 originally priced and they were $600 at the outlet. Um, I got a size 41. I typically actually like a 42 depending on the manufacturer. But just so you know, I'm a US 10, 10 and a half. Let's hop over to Bottega. And Bottega is where I spent the most time, y'all. First is a pair of shoes. I'm loving these new boxes. Like how thick or wide the top is. That's so cute. Okay. And now these already knew were there um, because I had been talking to my sales associate. And they have these, y'all, in probably about five colors. If you like this sandal, please, please call. Okay. It is the stretch sandals. I have these in tan. Um, some of the girls might say that this Bottega kind of square toe construction may not be as much in style anymore. I don't agree with that. I think if you've ever put this shoe on, you know that it is one of the most comfortable silhouettes that have ever existed. But on top of that, I think the way that Bottega does color and colored leather, they just knock it out the park. And so I'm going to have a pair of these in my collection forever, ever, as far as I am concerned. Uh, just show you the heel on the back and also the grip on the bottom, which I think aids in how comfortable they are. Let me put one of them down. They come with an extra pair of heel taps, which is great. And I got these in a 42, which again is my preferred size because then I'm sure to have at least a little bit of room and I don't feel like I'm stuffing my, my, my foot. Girl, you got to go to work on Myra's feet and I don't want to have that feeling on, on, in my toes. So 42 in these. These originally were, $9.95 and at the outlet, I'm sorry, they were $9.50 originally and they were $4.49 at the outlet. I could have gotten every color. They had a beautiful, beautiful turquoise and um, a patent leather, but didn't get those because I have a very pretty pair of tur turquoise shoes that my sisters got me for my birthday. Um, they also had purple. And they also had a few other styles as well in heels and in flats. Actually, a lot more styles in heels and flats. Uh, the girls have been waiting because I stalk the Bottega outlet. And I know for sure that this time last year, this many Daniel Lee pieces, meaning new Bottega pieces, had not made it to the outlet yet. Um, and now they are there and they are going off. And I think the collection is actually, unlike many outlets, perfect for the current season that we're in. Give them a call, y'all. So that's the shoes. Next, I got some ready to wear to show you. Again, I'm thinking about Miami Swim Week, y'all. And when you know my spirit animal, the color that I'm loving for this season was on display there. I know how I'm feeling about chartreuse, kind of lime color. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this in a way that makes sense, okay. <laughs> I am definitely trying this on for you all because it looks like nothing on the hanger. Sorry, friend. <laughs> looks like Asian with shreds of fabric. Um, but she a bad bee. While I was at Bottega, they had two or three racks that were an additional 60 to 70 percent off. I'm talking about intricate runway pieces that were. Um, retailing at $11,000, 70% off. I, I, um, favor is not fair. Whatever I have done, 
God has blessed me. I'm so happy that it was paid forward because it was the day to go for sure. So this is amazing because it probably can be worn. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, I was going to say I think that I can wear it inside out or wear it both ways, but probably not. Um, just to no let you know as far as how the collections go, this was a pre-fall 2020 piece, okay? It is this very kind of thin but extremely stretchy knit. It's ribbed and the fabric is actually doubled where it's the chartreuse on one side and the cream on the other. I got this in a large, but same thing, the medium would have fit and fit well, but it would have been too short because the, the, the butt and the hips would have made it rise, okay? Um, and this was $21.90 full price, $10.99 at the outlet, and I got it for 60% off of that price. Sorry if I've gotten really dark. Now this is when you know that we separate in the real from the fake. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We get down every stronghold. Diseases and poverty must cease because the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Girl, somebody say, late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna work in your favor. This is 100% Bottega leather with stretch, my G. This dress was originally $6,350. In the outlet, it was $3,179. I paid $650 for it. This is probably more of the true color because when the light hits it, it's either blowing it out or making it look a little bit too washed. These are all honestly, I think near the same color of the shoes, which I love. Definitely gonna pair those together. Or I may color block and do something a little different. I'm not sure yet, okay. But what an amazing piece. It actually is sewn so that it comes in a bit at the waist. The zipper is hidden, but it is on the side here. It has a seam down the back and a seam on each side. This is a salon piece made in Italy. I'll have it forever. This is a work of art. I will have it forever. I got it, by the way, y'all, in a size 40, um, which I was surprised by uh, because I was fully ready to go up to a 42 and the 42 was actually a little bit too big. Um, so the 40 was perfect. And honestly, I probably could have gone down to a 38. It has so much stretch, but um, I am happy with it. And if I ever need to, because of where the seams are, I may be able to get it taken in a little bit, but I don't know. I mean, it's Bottega leather. I think we're gonna have to just hang this up, put it in a glass casing for the archives. The next place I went, y'all, was Celine. And I went into Celine fully anticipating that I was gonna get like a cute little summer bag, maybe a tote, something straw. I wasn't sure. Um, but same as Bottega, when I went in there, I was shook by how well curated the selection was. So shook, all right? So I haven't even opened this. Let me show you what I got from Celine. And the receipt is in here, so I'm also going to show you or tell you the price. Um, one time for the packaging, we love a sticker with a logo, with a Triumph logo on it, okay? All right, so this is the first item. It's actually a set, but I plan to wear it separately or together. All right, so I'm going to start with the shorts. 
They simply say Celine Paris in kind of like a gra graffiti style. And they also have a few of the Triumph logos. These are 100% silk. But I fell in love with the shorts, not for the shorts because they're not a whole lot to look at, but because of the top, which I think is just fantastic, okay? Yes, it's long sleeved. Well, it's actually not, it's um, short sleeved, but yes, it has a hood on it, but that doesn't mean that as a silk piece, it can't be worn all spring and summer. I love how bold the gold buttons are. And then let's not forget that it also, on the bottom, almost is kind of designed like a hoodie, has this gold tipped string that you can pull close. Again, I don't even remember seeing this in the boutique and I am definitely a Eddie Salomon Celine fan. I think old Celine, Phoebe Philo, the ready to wear was probably a bit too minimal for me to make a major investment in but I like what Eddie Slamon has brought brought to the brand and this feels like him it feels edgy but also refined in some ways especially because it is silk so I knew that I was gonna get this was walking out the door y'all and she had this pair of shorts which I wanted so bad earlier this year and I was like I'm not breaking the bag for these shorts. It's a pair of shorts, I can't do it. But she was like, I don't have your size in them, right? But I kept looking at them and I was like, I know that's a 38, but can I just try them on because I think I can fit them. Lo and behold, I could. Yes, they're gold boxing shorts. What do you have to say to me? You ain't got nothing to say to me. I don't want you to tell me how ridiculous of an idea this is. I don't want you to tell me in my head to the boxing ring. I don't want to hear it. I want you to support and affirm this decision because do you see these? Picture it, Sicily. What if I put on one of those Aritzia cropped tops, crop tops, throw a blazer across my shoulders and give them a nasty heel? We are ready for Miami Swim Week, my G. Let's talk about the price of these pieces. Oh my God. Is that the receipt? She put a handwritten note in here. I didn't even realize this. Oh, this is so sweet. Dear Tashari, it was my pleasure to assist you during your stop to Woodbury. The hooded blouse and short set looked amazing on you. Have an amazing time at Swim Week. Best, Katie. That's what I'm talking about, Katie. So the shorts um, were half off. So these were 500 down from 1,000. They are 100% silk. They also have pockets. The top was 1260. And the second pair of shorts was 690, was 690. And I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this to a show. For me, this feels like something so easy to just kind of wear out and about, maybe out to dinner, a day shopping. And I still may shoot it because I think it's an amazing look, but I don't know how much I want to dress it up. We will see. Um, I plan to go to swim week for the entire duration this year, which I haven't done before. So I need quite a few looks. So I think these two, are gonna be it as well as the dresses and a few other pieces that I already have all right good people that is the end of the vlog I think I have mentioned everything to you um, about shopping at the outlets but if you have any other questions let me know down below um, also y'all let me know if you want me to do a video on actually an updated video on shopping luxury or designer items more affordably since the first one that I created which I will link down below I have a lot more tips because I've just been doing this for a little bit longer and I've built greater relationships relationships I've expanded the different brands that I shop at so yeah I think that I have some ideas and knowledge that might be helpful for you but in the meantime thank you so much for sticking around with me in this video make sure you are subscribed to my channel you are following me all over social media and I will see you good people across the internet peace